Hi guys, welcome back to the Auction Modeler. We have issue 31 of the Chet Parkworks Battleship Bismarck and it's on time this week. With issue 31 we get the hull sec the next hull section, the connector for it, and then um, another range finder, same as we did last week for that one. Um, so I'll just get everything set up on the bench and we will get started. So we've got all the parts then, you've got the um, panel that's going on the next side of the hull and the connector there, and then you've got the screws for it as well. And then exactly the same as last week for the range finder, you've got the same part so that's just an exact copy of what we did last week for that so i'll put all that to one side just for the minute and we'll get this little bag open so put the screws out so same as always these are pm screws so if we bring in the hole that we've got up to now so I'm going to do this this way around so you guys can see what I'm doing. So the panel itself is going to go on the port side of the hull. So the instructions say place the hull assembly on your work surface, position the upper port hull section 31.1 which is this one. Um, so the two tabs fit over the screw sockets indicated by the arrows. So that's that one there, and that one there. Uh, fix the whole section in place with two of the PM screws. So, one, two. Let's get one attached on. And then if we pop this on here, so you've actually got as well like a little nub thing just there, which that little groove there will sit into. And try to make sure you get it all lined up properly. That's it. And then just screw that one in. And then screw the second one in. So that's all nice and tight on that one. That was all nice and tight as well. So once those two are attached, just take the connector, swing this round. So you can see exactly what I'm doing there. So this connector will just go over there. Make sure you get it the right way around. There we are. And then This will just screw into place, same as the previous ones have. So make sure that's holding up nice and tight. But same as before, making sure not to rip the heads of the screws. I think I might have cross-threaded that one. going to take this off here. I think this one might be slightly cross-threaded. Let's get that little screwdriver out again. Nope, that's not going to do any good. There we go. So it wasn't cross-threaded, but it is very awkward to get in, but there we go. So that's that one all attached. So that's the hull as we've got it up to now, so looking really good now. So move that over to the side, just through there, and then we'll bring the other parts in. Get rid of that extra PM screw. There we go. So 
Now the uh, port rangefinder um, is exactly the same as what we did in the last issue. So glue. Now um, I forget who it was, but someone did put a comment on the last video um, about to get a better finish, glue the inside of the join, which is a good idea. So, now the good thing with normal models, as opposed to this, which is all like pre-painted and everything, normal models, you can glue on the outside, um, like with the capillary action and all that, um, you can glue on the outside because if you're going to, end up painting over it, you're fine. But with something like this, even just a drop somewhere will look better than, um, so long as that glue can get into the, the gap, it'll look better. But even, I mean, from a distance, you won't be able to tell anyway with this even with this kind of glue once you've got it on the model you're not going to be able to tell um that it's that you've glued it from the outside but if you put glue on kind of thin enough there you go you can just see the seam but you can't really make out where the gluing is um on this one So, if we bring this in, make sure that that's all the same. Right, so. Sorry I'm a bit sniffly today, I think I've got a cold coming on. But, there we go. So, we clip those off. And then... So that one, if I glue that one in that way around. So same as last week, uh, just take your time with gluing everything together. Make sure you use plenty of glue, enough to hold all the bits together, but not too much that it's going to start splurging out everywhere especially if you're using like super glue or something like that there we go that's on there we go that's in brilliant so that's gonna go on there like that so these two same as last week you've got the same two parts with the little nubs so those two nubs there those need to face straight forward Nearly lost you to the carpet monster. This one just doesn't want to stick, so I'm going to put a drop of glue in there. So as soon as this one goes in, it will stick in. He says, there we go. Right, that's in. Just do the same on the other side. And then that's that one in as well. So a tiny screwdriver just to press that one in. There we go. Same with that one. There we go. So that's all done. What we're going to do this time, I'm going to put just a little bit of glue on the bottom just to help to line that up. And then that is that one. 
all attached. So I'm just going to glue this same as last time from underneath because it's not going to hold in perfectly just from that little dab of glue that I've just put on there. But the other one's held well for the last week, so, uh, well, Sunday. Plenty of glue in there to hold that in. The good thing with this is, because that, because inside there's out with the kind of view, you're not actually going to see it. So you can put as much glue under there as you want. On top here that you yeah, have to make sure that it's not too much glue. But that one is all on as well. So that is the rangefinders. Whoops, sorry. That is the rangefinders attached for this issue. Um, so this is starting to come on now very, very well. 31 done. Um, issue 32, we get the same um, hull section, but for the other side, so it's the starboard side this time. Um, we get the port and starboard life rafts, which I'm guessing will be those um, those two yellow ones there. Um, a fan and some other parts. Now, this one here looks to be like photo etch. So I'm hoping that that's going to be some of the railings. So, for example... Um, some of the railings like where you've got the, um, the side here there's some railings that will run around there so I'm kind of hoping that's what's um, that's what's coming next week um, but yeah it's coming along quite well now um, issue 32 will be up as normal next Thursday um, if you've got any questions comments anything feel free to put them in the comment section down below uh, remember to like share and subscribe to the auction modeler and you know, there'll be more content coming out soon when we start getting the Aston Martin in as well. Um, I will put a photo up of how far we are along with the build now with everything kind of put together. So until next week, happy modeling guys.